Hello, Class of 2024, and welcome to Varela. Now let's go check out the building. We are currently at what is known as the Yellow Poles and leads into the parking lot, and right here is the security checkpoint. Any visitors that come into the school will need to present their picture ID to the security guard station there, and then if they need any questions answered or to register a child, they would be going into the main office. Down this hallway and around the corner is where you will find many of our administrative offices. Miss Kathy Sanabria, the graduation coach. Mrs. Sandra Gudis, the registrar. Mrs. Lisa Knight, the assistant principal over curriculum. Mrs. Neri Finns, the principal. Mr. Alvin Brown, an assistant principal. Mr. Lazaro Leal, an assistant principal and as you continue down the hallway this is where all of the counselor offices are found as well welcome to the athletic office here we have athletic director coach ryan schneider and then over here we have Mello, who is our trainer the head football coach Ladan, and coach zelner mr michael vergara the 11th grade coach and an administrative assistant here we are in attendance, where student dismissals and admits will be handled. If you are submitting an admit, your parent will need to email 7781 attendance in order to do so. If you are being picked up early, remember the person picking you up must be listed on your emergency contact card on file within the attendance office and must have a picture ID with them. As we walk away from the yellow poles, the building on our left is the 300 building and down this first hallway our classroom is 301 to 308. Here we have the activities office and the art and vet hallway. Come this way to check it out. I'm hanging by a string, I don't care what's below. I'm not gonna take it so. Here we have some of the art rooms. We offer art with drawing and painting and photography and all kinds of other really exciting courses. Down this way, we have the Vet Academy, so let's go meet Ms. Escobar. Welcome, Class of 2024. This is the Felix Varela Veterinary Science Magnet Academy. Basically, what that means is that kids come to this class for five courses during the four years they're here at Varela to become certified veterinary assistants. And the one thing that I could tell you about this room is that you never know who might drop in. Can you sit? Good boy, Finn. Say hi, Finn. As we continue down the breezeway, on our right is the attendance office that we saw earlier, but coming up on our left is the auditorium. Hey, Vipers. I'm Mrs. Schechner, one of the class sponsors. Welcome to the auditorium. This is where we have many plays, band shows, dance shows, lots of assemblies. You'll be coming in here a lot during your four years of high school. Get to know it well. It's a great place to be. As we leave the auditorium, you will find CSI on our left, which hopefully you will never have to visit. And then we will find the Performing Arts Hallway, which includes rooms 324 through 327. Here we have the Performing Arts Hallway where we can find all of our band classes and drama classes. Let's go down. Here we have room 324, the band room. We have beginning band, jazz band, wind ensemble, and an amazing band of mystery, our marching band. So all of the magic takes place here. the Little Theater. You might eventually have class in here. This is where they hold many of their smaller productions like the one-act plays and coffee nights once a month. So we encourage you to check it out and come support the drama productions when you're here. Welcome to the cafeteria. Here is the line that you will come down if you are purchasing lunch and you will space yourselves out every six feet apart and travel all the way down to the show. Here we 
have Erica Simpson, the cafeteria manager. Hi, freshmen. You are allowed to enter these two doors, go around, enter either line. We have four lines available, and you will exit here. As we leave the cafeteria and look out to the open courtyard, please note that we will return to this spot many times throughout this video to give you a point of reference as we go about the campus. You can see our amazing open courtyard where you're welcome to sit and have lunch with the appropriate social distancing, of course. As you continue along the building, you will pass the classrooms 103, 105, and 108 as you get ready to enter into the main building and into the math wing. Here we are in the math hallway. These are room numbers 110 through 118, so many of your math classes will be found down this hallway, such as algebra and geometry. And we will check out the other math hallway in just a minute. Here at Barella, we pride ourselves on being inclusive of all types of learners. We have an amazing Best Buddies program. And then down this end of the hallway, continues with more math classes from the 130s to the 138s. Now as we leave the math wing, we will travel down the middle hallway towards the testing and social studies wings. This is the testing hallway, the 170s. So if you're scheduled to take one of the state tests like the FSA or EOC, this is probably where you will come to take that test. You'll be able to check online with your ID number to find out what day and time you are scheduled to test and you'll have plenty of notice ahead of time. Here we have the 150 hallway. Down here you can find all the social studies classes and JROTC. So if you have any social studies classes, this would be the place to go. And if you look this way to 149 over here in the corner on the right, that is where we have our nursing classes. Here we are back in the courtyard, and this time we're gonna head into the main stairwell that will take us to the second floor. There are also three other stairwells within the building that you are able to use. Stairwell. When you come back to school, there will be stickers on the ground telling you which direction to go in. Alright, so up will be on the right, down will be on the left. Their stairway will lead you up into the language, arts, and science hallways. I stumble for my pen and paper. Here we are in the language arts hallway. If you have a class that's in room 203 through 219, you will find it down this hallway. This is the second language arts hallway with rooms from 221 down through 229. We will now travel down the middle hallway as we leave English and head over towards the science wing. Here we are in one of our science hallways. Down this hallway you can find rooms 240 all the way down through 247. Here we are in the second science hallway. This is room numbers 250 through 259. Here we are back at the cafeteria, and as we head to the back of the school, on the left is where the gym is at, which we'll visit in a little bit. Over to our right and along the main building wall are classrooms 180 through 185. And then here in the middle is the covered patio where you are welcome to have lunch with the appropriate social distancing, of course. As we leave the covered patio and head towards the back of the school, we come up to the two smaller buildings known as the Concretables or Buildings 11 and 12. Right now, we are headed into Building 12. Here we are in Building 12, which is where our iPrep magnet is housed. So down here from room 78 through 92 is where you can find all of your iPrep classrooms. Leaving the cafeteria again, and this time heading along the 300 building, we come up to the gym on our left, also known as the Viper Pit. Welcome to the Viper Pit. This is where we have all our home games. Our indoor sports are played here. We got a brand new remodeled floor.
Hi guys, I'm Coach Hernandez. Uh, I'm a coach here and I'm a security guard. This is our athletic hallway where we house all our locker rooms. This is room 352, the dance room. Here is where all of our dance classes are housed, including our performing arts team, the Enchanters. Vipers, this is one of our weight rooms here in room 355. Mm -hmm. And our sport weight room in 354. As we exit the PE hallway, we come out to the outside basketball courts and all of our athletic fields, such as the softball and baseball fields, the soccer field and the football field. The parent pick up and drop off lane can be accessed off of 152nd Avenue. As you are traveling south, you will see the entrance to the parent pick up and drop off lane, which runs parallel to the track and then you may drop your student off in front of the building and then enter back onto 152nd Avenue a little farther south. Students, as you exit the car from the parent pickup lane, on the left hand side you will see the concretable buildings and then on your right hand side will be the 300 building. As you walk in a little bit, you will have the gym on your right and then the covered patio on your left. If you get to school by bus, whether a school bus or private, you will be dropped off in the bus lane which can be found right off of 96th Street. As you are dropped off, you will enter the main building, either near the social studies wing or the math wing. Vipers, we are so excited to have you come back into the building, but your safety is our main concern. So we're going to take a few minutes to go over all of the safety precautions that we have in place here at Varela. Hi Viper family, this is Mrs. Finns. I am your principal and you may not recognize me because I'm wearing my mask, but this is a nice little tour I'm gonna give you of Varela and all the things that we put into effect to keep you safe and to keep you healthy. The most basic thing I need you guys to do is obviously when you wake up in the morning, make sure you are healthy. Do not come to school if you feel ill. And then, of course, when you arrive in the building, you put on your mask. The mask must be over your nose and cover your mouth. We are not permitting bandanas. We are not permitting those um, masks that cover your neck and go up. It has to be a mask like this one that is appropriate, that doesn't have anything that would be considered inappropriate or vulgar or insulting to anyone. So just a, a normal face mask that you would wear to school. Well, here we are. Let's say you get here and you want to hang out prior to school beginning. You will see I am sitting, okay, keeping social distance. When you come to the open courtyard, you must sit where it says sit here, all right? Because that way you have social distancing, you have your mask, and you keep yourself safe. So your friends must sit. So if I would sit here, my friend would sit here. We can still talk but we are social distance and we are safe. Hey Vipers, this is our main stairwell. When you come back to school, there will be stickers on the ground telling you which direction to go in. All right, so up will be on the right, down will be on the left. Their stairway will lead you up into the language arts and science hallway. Inside of the main building, all the major hallways are one way only and the flow of traffic will run counterclockwise. But in the middle hallway and some of the smaller ones, if there is two directional traffic, you will always stay on the right hand side of the hallway. 
here I am in the one room that I hope we do not have to use. It is called the isolation room. We are going to be getting a nurse and the nurse, if a child exhibits any COVID-like symptoms, the nurse will assess the child, place them here in the isolation room. See, we have a cot, we have a privacy, um, and she will call the parent to come pick up the child immediately. And then there's paperwork that we will follow up on with the parent, but I hope never to use this room. Okay, so the water fountains have been retrofitted. You can no longer press and drink water. These are off. Now it's been retrofitted. You bring your water bottle, you put it here, and you get refilled in your bottle. So no more mouths on the water fountain, only water bottles to be refilled. very different classroom. You will see that the only thing in the classroom are desks for the kids, teacher desk, one file cabinet, and a stool for the teacher to sit in. The desks are socially distanced apart by 39 inches, which is what the World Health Organization recommends if you're wearing a mask. So kids, everybody's facing forward. All right, the desks have been measured. You can see there's tape on the floor where we have actually measured them and you are going to be in a classroom with your devices ready to go socially distanced. From now on bathrooms are two students to a time. You're going to see a little later in this video we're going to show you how the policy works but only two students at a time to keep you safe and socially distanced. Welcome back Vipers we have missed you as part of the miami-dade school plan to reopen smart return safe we want to share with you our new bathroom policy for your safety only two students will be allowed in each bathroom area at a time each bathroom in the building has been assigned an area and a color you will use the bathroom that is assigned to the class you are in and each color-coded bathroom will have two spaces available for use as well as four dots that will serve as a social distance cube or line. Your pass will also match the assigned color. Bathroom passes will be issued via a QR code generated link to a Microsoft Office form. The QR code will be at the door of every classroom. This will be your pass, your map, and also your reminder to stay safe. Here is how it will work. Open the camera on your phone and scan the code. A box with the link will pop up and clicking on it will take you to the Microsoft form. If you are not signed into our system, it will prompt you into signing in using your student ID email and password. Complete the form and click submit to see your pass. Remember, the color of the pass is also corresponds to the color of your bathroom. Keep your pass handy. You may be asked to show it. Please use only the bathroom that is assigned. If both stalls are full, 
stand on one of the dots until they open up. Your safety is our number one priority. Please help us keep you safe by following the rules, wearing a mask, disinfecting often, and social distancing appropriately. It's a great day to be a Viper, always. Vipers, as you have seen, there are many strategies in place to keep you safe as we return to school. We are so excited to see you and hope you have a Viper day. And remember, it is a great day to be a Viper, always.